All right, this is one of my favorite trees, but it is hard to deal with if you don't know what it is. And it is a compound leaf type tree. And usually when you see these leaves like this, there are usually needles coming up. This tree doesn't want you to touch it and you have to be very careful when you deal with it. So um, let me see if I could show you what one of the leaves look like. This is what the leaf look like, compound leaf dealing with opposites. But even more importantly, let's look at the bark. This is the bark here. This is the bark of the tree. Notice the points, the sticky points on there. It is called the devil's walking cane. The devil's walking cane. And um, I had the opportunity of dealing with this tree at the Botanical Gardens. Uh, unfortunately, I had to cut down a whole bunch of them because there was a lot of children that play over there. But this tree has a lot of sticky points on it. Uh, many people are afraid of it, who, if you don't know anything about it. We fear the things that we have no knowledge of. But it's called the Devil's Walking Cane. You can make a cane out of it, of course, uh, after you cut all the sticky points off of it. But it is part of something called the Aurelia spinoa, or Aurel the Aurelia cius. The Aurelia cius is the botanical name. Now, briefly, what's very powerful about this tree, besides the leaves, when we look at the leaf formation, the bark, the inner bark, and all of that. It actually grows flowers, and these white flowers. And it also grows these black berries. Um, and the berries are pretty much, a lot of people are afraid to eat the berries uh, because it's called the devil's walking cane and because of the spikes. No, it has the spikes to keep you off of it and from the leaves, um, unless you gain some knowledge. It doesn't even want you to touch it until you get some knowledge of what and what it is, okay? until you get knowledge of what it is. So it has a, a fruit or a berry, like, almost like a droop. This bark actually cures colds, okay? And it, 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 what it does is, if you're hypersensitive, a hypersensitive type person, it gets rid of that. And when we look at the leaves again, here they are, compound. see it sort of shaped like um, a pointed oval one of my favorite trees the leaves will uh, if when you dry them out will stop anemia will stop anemia person with anemic blood okay it is an antidepressant which <laughs> lots of people need that these days because everybody's depressed about something, you know? So it's an antidepressant. Stops bronchitis and wheezing. The bark stops rheumatism, skin diseases, and this is the bark they use in the cure for syphilis, to cure syphilis. The berries, which um, the berries are not blooming right now, they're not fruiting right now, which are pretty tasty to me. Um, the berries relieve pain, is a pain remedy. And is good for pregnant women, okay? So that is what you call the devil's walking cane. Let's see, get a little closer. Yeah. Look at those points on there. We'll stick the hell out of you. And I, like I said, I've never been stuck by it, but I've touched the points and usually the leaves even have points on them that will keep you off of it, okay? So it is a very powerful plant, very, very powerful. You no longer need to be afraid of it for those of you who know what it is, um, but don't know its uses, okay? The uses are very medicinal and very powerful, and that's why it protects itself. That's why it protects itself. And I'm gonna have to take me a couple of these leaves and come back and cut down some of the bark 
um, bring that home with me. Got to have gloves for that. And I have the tools to, to make sure I can get a piece of this tree, okay? And it's really a shrub, not really a tree, but since it only has one trunk, I'll call it a tree, okay? It doubles walking cane. <laughs> 